New black oh new black new black myth Wukong gameplay trailer dropped. Really? Black Myth Wukong 8 minute exclusive gameplay. Mosquito mechanics, that's big. It's Israel, Squessy, and Kopi. No, I play with the new graphics. This doesn't look as smooth as the other trailers so far. Thanks for the five gift subs, Jimmy John. Thank you, man. You think they're rushing? I don't know, but this definitely doesn't look as smooth. This looks a lot slower and clunkier. Think the player just sucks ass? Very possible. There's a prime diamond. Thanks to resub, Jack. I'd like to go back to the fights. That has me a bit concerned. Okay, the player is very bad. This actually might just be a case of the player making the game look like shit. This guy gets hit by everything, and then after getting hit, dodges. I wish they had got like an actual good player for it. It still looks beautiful. I, I like the visuals here, very Sekido like. I mean, the gameplay's not blowing me away right now. Nothing seems to react to getting hit. Mm, yeah, I guess. I don't think it's a lack of impact. You'll notice on every single swing, and I really hate this effect, I've seen it on a couple of other Souls-like games, on every single swing, they're doing a little, like, wind effect on it, and it kind of obscures the hit. Like, you see- oh, didn't pause that at the right frame. But like you see the wind-up leaves, like, a, a wind trail here? I don't- I never really like when they do that blur effect. So I think that's why it kind of seems like it's not very impactful. But I'm just spitballing. I personally don't like when they add that kind of shit. It's motion blur. 
Oh, maybe it is motion blur. Maybe it, yeah. You might be right. But it's on every hit. I guess it would make sense if it's motion blur, why a lot of games have it. You can transform into a walnut? That's huge. How long does this last? That was cool. This boss doesn't seem to have very many moves. What a choke. There's your use of Mothman and Nickel. And the resub dote, six dogs. Nice. Visually, still looks amazing. Gameplay's got me a little worried, but I can also kind of chalk it up to that player being pretty fucking bad. Makes the bits dung. Yeah, I tried watching Evangelion. I didn't get into it. I watched one of the newer movies, too. The movie was pretty cool, but I didn't understand it because, obviously, I didn't watch the show. He's a prime Jack. This is interesting. This music is cool. I like this. This is a nice atmosphere. Shanjiao 听说以前倒还有些本事 the graphics are super impressive, especially for a new team. This clearly had a lot of money behind it. 
，连你也不晓得。想看，就去前头看。我说妹妹们，这还没开始行礼，你们就急着要闹喜糖了？嗨，不过是母亲修炼用的精元，我们呐，别操那没用的心。姐姐，人我就交给你。Thanks, bit, Jimmy. In the Prime Video. Thank you, Jimmy John. 姐姐，母亲是老糊涂了，妹妹们又不晓得事，难道你也看不出来吗？你就当心疼心疼母亲，也是我们做儿女的尽一次本分。我何尝不心疼她？她数十年的病根一直好不了。Unreal Engine Five. Nice. 不恨就罢了，还这般作践自己。Thanks, Prime Tyson. 我饰演不下去。有些事情不看对错美丑，更不论强弱输赢，都是机缘巧现编织的宿命。姐姐，你我当时都为…… I feel like we're about to build up to something wild. Four of them are just gonna fucking throw hands. 也参不透他今日的痴心。师伯那边，走一步看一步吧。借来的福分。能多想一日，也是好的。你，随我来。This might just be like a full six-minute conversation, actually. 母亲的蓝房了，这里有几句话要叮嘱你。母亲平日里都是好的，唯有吃饭时只爱独享，千万别去沾惹她。还有。别细看他的脸。Damn, yeah, this actually just might be a full conversation. They're giving us the entire lore breakdown. 我的话，你可要细细记住了。快去，别误了时辰。Exit bit done. 你让 How old is their mom? She sounds really old. Hey, good to see you. 能回来就好。What a weird cutscene to drop as a standalone video. I would think they would have wanted to release a cutscene that was kind of hype, without a ton of story to it. They did do gameplay, yeah, but they didn't. This is like a standalone cutscene they posted. Oh, here we go. What am I looking at? Oh, it's like a spider. What does it all mean? Is there a mimic in Weird Champ? Yeah, visually. Cool, excited, gameplay, nervous. They really should have had someone that was good at the game playing it. Thanks, Risa Belavis. There's a guy who made an eight-hour video on the Nickelodeon show Victorious. Nice. I mean, it was a it was a big show. It's not surprising. Thanks, you sub rainbow. And the tier one 
du 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 If it isn't from software, it isn't Souls. Disagreed. Neo 1 and 2 are amazing. FromSoft does it best, but Neo 1 and 2? Fucking extraordinary. There's the bits Death Cat in the Prime. Karuid? You didn't like Strangers of Paradise, right? No, that game was absolutely ass. Holy fuck, that game was bad. I love Final Fantasy, but Strangers of Paradise was miserable. After the first hour of silliness, it just becomes impossible to play. It's so boring. But I love the first hour where they just keep saying chaos over and over again, and then eventually they kill, like, who they thought was chaos. And it's a girl, and she's like, I'm not chaos. And he's like, bullshit. And then he walks away and plays Limp Biz Kit on his MP3 player. God, I love that scene. I should not play that again. I haven't seen that in a while. Hoping some band of heroes would defeat me. And thus bring an end to this empty dream. <laughs> Bullshit. Fuck yeah. Sigma. <laughs> so good. So fucking good. out there I can feel him like nothing about this game works at any stage it's so fucking stupid like just let's break down this scene so bullshit then he plays Limp Bizkit and walks away but his whole party follows him he doesn't have like a solo exit his whole party is still right next to him walking together going in the same direction so then he just has to turn off the music and then he continues the conversation like fucking 40 seconds later it's so unbelievably stupid. It's crazy. I love it. But then after this, it becomes boring. Boring as fuck. Have you played Sir Whoopass? That sounds cool though. Oh. Yeah, I know Rumbleverse. I played it when it came out and I really didn't like it. But apparently they changed it a bit and everyone likes it. So I'll probably have to try it again. Favorite Final Fantasy? 7 through 10. Final Fantasy 7 through 10 are actual timeless masterpieces. I love those games so much, man. I even like 13, 13, 2, and 13, 3. But 7 through 10 are unbeatable. They're in my top 5 favorite games of all time. Like, all tied. I can't pick any of them over another one. They're so good. Were you a fan of 15? It was fine. I wasn't blown away by it or anything, but it was fine. Did you like the Final Fantasy VII Remake? I did. I liked it. I'm excited to see where they go. I'm glad they didn't just tell the exact same story. If I wanted the exact same game, I'd just go play it. 
So I'm glad they tried something different, and I'm excited to see where it goes. But apparently that guy also wrote Kingdom Hearts, which is the worst narrative ever told in the entire history of storytelling, so... I'm not overly optimistic that it ends up being a good story, but I'm hopeful. Should rerun Hollow Knight before Silk Song? Yeah, but I just beat Hollow Knight. Like, only like five months ago. Don't know how you can like a boring version. It wasn't, though. Especially not the ending. You can hate the narrative of Final Fantasy Remake all you want, but this fucking ending was so hype. I guess spoilers inbound, but like this entire ending section, like the final boss to final cutscene was so hype. Things are resub evade. I liked everything except the ending. I don't get it. It was like, again, you can hate the narrative and I don't like the time travel stuff. That's a recipe for disaster. But I really love this fight and the cutscene. Like, this is so over the top. Which is exactly what Final Fantasy VII did, too. So it kept, it kept the same crazy energy. I loved it. <sighs> and it just kept going and going. Like, constantly amplifying. <laughs> I didn't play I didn't play integrate. God damn. I will replay this when uh, the remake 2 comes out. I'll need to. I'll probably do normal Final Fantasy 7 replay and then remake. Because I haven't replayed the original 7 in a while. But yeah, I really liked it. Again, narratively you can hate it all you want, which is fine. I hate time travel. I don't think it's going to work well. But I didn't even mind it. I like the idea. I just don't think it's going to be executed well. But that whole ending sequence is over the top hype. You see the ending cutscene of Yuffie's story? Nah, I'll probably just watch a recap. I don't usually play DLCs. How come? Uh, it just seems so lackluster, I don't know. Like, oh, here's an extra three hours of a game I liked. I'd rather you just make a sequel. Like, spend, spend the time working on the next one. What about Dark Souls DLC? Yeah, I do actually like Dark Souls DLC. But they're just adding bosses. And it works really well. Your bleach take makes me angry. Hey, I'm sorry to hear you like bleach. That's rough. I wanted to like bleach. I loved it when I was a kid, but man, that revisit, brutal. Poop ass show, man. I'm excited for the new season, though. Apparently they're changing the ending, so that's good news.
Thanks to Tier 1 Martian MILF Hunter. What a name. What's your opinion on One Piece? I'm almost done with Alabasta, finally. After... What, a year and a half of watching the show? It's, I mean, it's getting better. Thanks, Resub George. I think I'm probably going to start watching One Piece on two times speed. I think I'd like it more. Narrative, ex narrative is great, but it's just such such a drag. Yeah, apparently the pacing is so much worse in the anime than the manga. Tiana's all caught up. Tiana watched the entire show in, in a year and a half, because we both started at the same time. So Tiana's all caught up. I know where it all ends up, and I really like where, it, like where it's at currently in the anime. I think it's really hype. But Jesus Christ, it's so fucking boring getting there. I just hate how little happens during, like, the big climactic fights. And you know what bothers me more than anything? No characters die. I was talking to Tiana, and she could only name three characters, like, important characters that die, that aren't in flashbacks. That bothers me so much. All big shonen are like that. That's where you're so dreadfully wrong. Naruto killed characters all the time. Bad guys always died. Good guys even died. Naruto had some fucking balls on it. They weren't afraid to kill characters. Asuma, dead. And I think it really amplified it. Jiraiya, fucking dead. I actually rewatched his death scene yesterday, or two days ago. That's still such a great scene. But in One Piece, it's a, a Luffy axe kicked fish man. Arlong. He's not dead, he's just, he, he had a change of heart now. But not main characters? Yeah, not main characters, but still important characters. One Piece doesn't kill any. Bro, fucking, I'm at the point where Pell takes that bomb and sacrifices himself by blowing it up in the atmosphere. But just kidding, he doesn't, he's alive somehow. This bomb that was gonna level the entire fucking area... Pell takes in his goddamn mouth and blows up in his face, and he's still alive. They can't even kill just, like, an actual throwaway side character. About to spoil. I mean, that's not a spoiler. It's, I mean, it is from 1999, whenever that episode aired. He's a tier one big fighter. Zoro kills people all the time. Again, those are nameless characters. Those aren't even side characters. It's fodder. Fodder dies, true. But not a single character so far, in, like in my watch, with a name has died. And Tiana can only name three that have died. That aren't in flashbacks. Flashbacks are cheating. Yeah, I know. I, I get the point. One Piece doesn't kill this and that. But it, they should. It'd be so much more impactful if they did. It's an impactful three. It is. No, like, I, I, I know. She, she told me what characters they are. And they're big deaths. Don't get me wrong. But across a thousand episodes, what is it, a thousand, eighty-two episodes, something like that, to only have three named characters killed off is pretty weird. None of the villains die. Like, none of them. 